on guys we're here in the old school training studio I just spit why I don't know anyway I know how much you guys like the old school the old school show here I gotta show you uh, your boy right okay the newest issue is out uh, I have it in the other room fuck I'm gonna have to show it to you the next one um, anyway I gotta show you some of the old magazines I have now. You know, you guys all know my girlfriend sells old magazines, bodybuilding magazines, but she also sells other stuff. Like, look at this condition this is in. Look at this. It's brand new. This is like it is like brand new. Let's see what year is this? 1975. Okay, do you guys remember this? Larry Zonka. Uh, Larry Zonka, Jim Kick. And Warfield. What's his name? Warfield. Okay. These were the guys from the Miami Dolphins. Look at that. Right? Now, guys, wait. Listen. Hold on. I want you to see this. Look. Okay, look. This is, look at that. Okay? These are the old Miami Dolphins. They turn around. This is Sports Illustrated. Okay? Excellent condition. Check this out. Look what's on the back of it. <laughs> Check that out. Look. Okay? Isn't that crazy? Cigarettes. On the back of a sports book. Look. 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 On the back. Of Sports Illustrated, right here, their football shoe, cigarettes, cigarettes on the fucking back, bro, look, on the inside, whiskey, whiskey, on the inside of this shit, look, more, uh, what the fuck is this, all stuff, all kind of whiskey shit, anyway, but uh, look, you know, you got your old fucking football shit and everything like that, anyway, so that's the football, then we also got we, my girlfriend sells. So we have every issue of Muscle Elegance. My girl Denise Messino sells all these, the, all the Muscle Elegance. I gotta, I gotta watch. We don't want to trouble here on the fucking, and you know, make sure no nudities. All okay. Okay, this is Bob Bonham's ex-girlfriend right here. All Muscle Elegance. Okay, she sells all Muscle Elegance. Tons of Muscle Elegance. Yeah, none of Muscle Elegance. Uh, boom. All you know, in the, you know, it's all naked girls, and it's like the Playboy of. Uh, of uh, what's we call it? And uh, dude, here's a, check out this old Sports Illustrated right here. Who's Pete Rose when he fucking broke the record? Look, Sportsman of the Year. What year is this? 1975. Again, another 1975. Look, look, look. 1975 is Pete Rose. Now wait again on the back. Kent cigarettes. Okay, Kent cigarettes on the back of Sports Illustrated. Isn't that crazy? Pete Rose on the front. Dude, isn't that crazy? Fucking. Cigarettes, Sports Illustrated, a little bit of an oxymoron there, okay? I have to show my girl. Look, my girl right here. This is, I used to fucking, 1975 again. My girl, I loved her, okay? It's my fate. I used to jerk off to her when I was a kid. Look at that. I had the wickedest crush on her, Nadia Comaneci. And once again, on the back. Dun, 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 dun. The Marlboro Man. Remember the Marlboro Man? Look. On the back of Sports Illustrated, right here. With my girl, Nadia Comanich. These are all, by the way, you see the condition that shit's in? Those fucking magazines are older than most of you. And look at muscular development. Look at that. Robert Baldwin. Look at that. That's the old MD, baby. Look, that's the MD. The muscular development, you guys know. Again, I, I love the ads on the back. I love all the barbell. No, no fucking, no uh, cigarette ads on that shit, man. But I love all this stuff. I mean... I, I grew up, man, this was my shit, bro. You have no idea. I love this stuff so much. These magazines, so much, man. Look at... Anyway, all the protein shit. Okay. All the good stuff, bro. All these old magazines. Yeah, baby. Alright. I'll show you more good body. But you see, I had to do this last minute. So I just grabbed any magazines. But I got some good ones. I'm going to start showing you guys some... From the 1930s and the 1940s and 50s. I have, oh yeah, with those. Guys like Reg Park on the cover and all that stuff. Old, 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 old bodybuilding. Man, I just showed you a little shit that's just laying around here with this stuff. This is just laying around. The good stuff is coming. I haven't even begun to show you. Nobody has, nobody. There's nobody out there that has a collection like I do. Okay. Well, like I did. My girlfriend fucking sold most of them. And I know a lot of you guys think that that's sacrilegious. But not to me. It's not sacrilegious. Because 
you know, I'm never going to read this shit anymore. And what am I going to do? Pass it on to somebody. I got a fucking whole magazine. Thousands and thousands. I had over 10,000 magazines. You have no idea. That's a lot of fucking magazines. I need a whole room, which I do actually have a whole room just for magazines. It's sick. You know, now the room's doing a lot better. We're sitting in it. All right, before I start, Paul DeMeo. We got to give him respect. That was my friend. God bless Paul DeMeo. Okay? My favorite Ferrigno bar. Right there, Titan Medical. Stop fucking around. Go to Titan Medical for your fucking needs. Now, let's get busy. How you doing? My name is John Sikoris, and this is Sharice Sikoris, and we're the owners of Titan Medical Center. Remember, I told you we have the new magazine. I'm going to promote it right here. Look. That's the new magazine. This oh, this girl on the back. Here we go. Our sponsor. Uh, this girl is so fucking cute, man. She really is a cute girl. Holy Christ. She's a cutie. Um, she's got a boyfriend. Look at it. But look at her. I like, I don't know, I like, if she's watching this, man. Look at it. Look at her. She watches me. She's a fucking cute guy. I like her with her hair slicked back. I like the way you look with your hair slicked back. You're a cutie. I know she's got a nice guy, boyfriend, supposed to be a good guy. Okay. She's an army girl. Okay, there she is, right? She's an army girl. Anybody that's in the army, my son is a wartime vet. Okay. Army intelligence, my son. He's done now with the army NSA intelligence. My son, God bless him. My father was a Korean War vet. Me, I'm a fucking Momo. There you go. Okay, I'm a fucking Momo. I could never take orders, bro. I'm a fucking, I'm a vet at a Westchester County Jail System. <laughs> that's not funny. Anyway, all right, let's get busy. Anyway, that, 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 that's this girl. She's so fucking cute, bro. I gotta look at her again. Oh, look at her. Look at her face on her. Look at that. Man, she's really cute. Dear Renee, dear Renee, you're a cute girl. I don't give a shit about the body. The body always helps, but I don't. I'm not into like all the muscle, but the face. That face is cute. She's cute all around. The body sexy as hell, and her boyfriend's supposed to be a really good guy, according to Joe Pietow. So, God bless you both, and uh, thank you for serving. Her and her boyfriend, I think, serve too. All right, he's serving her now. All right, let's see. What's the fucking questions here? Let me uh, let me figure this out. Um. All right, let me uh, let me do the first one here. Uh, T14 wants to know, can you eat junk food and still build muscle? Do you know, it's funny you ask that question, okay? I know a guy that just was just talking to me about that yesterday in the gym. Asked me the same fucking thing, you know? And uh, when I was younger, I used to kind of eat a lot of junk food. Uh, but, I remember talking with Flex Wheel one time. And I know that he likes to eat sometimes a little loose in the off-season, you know, and everything. And his exact words were exactly the way I felt, the same way. And let me tell you what that is. Yeah, believe it or not, you can. But you can't eat nothing but junk. So here's the theory. If you eat protein, which you need to build muscle, okay, there's my mother-in-law barking. Uh, if you eat protein, which is used to build muscle, all right, and as long as you get that in you, get the proper protein and the right macros in you, if you eat junk, it's, it, all it's going to do is either make you fat or if you've got an elite metabolism like, uh, like Flex Wheeler, you're going to burn it off. And even myself, when I was younger, I burned it off. I could eat junk food and I still had abs. Sure, a lot of you guys all know a friend or a girl or a guy that eats shit and yet they still got abs, okay? 
that doesn't mean that you can all get away with that. It just means that if you all, even if a guy who has terrible genetics, I'm talking about not just his structure or look, but the way he burn fat, you know, metabolism-wise, even if you have bad metabolism, what it's going to do, as long as you get the right macros in you, you know, the right amount of protein and everything it takes to build muscle, if you eat junk on top of that, you can still grow muscle, but you're going to get fat. That's just it, you know what I mean? So, can you actually build muscle while eating ju just junk? No. Can you, you know, because what are you going to do? It takes protein to build muscle, all right? And, and, and even Corey Everson used to always talk about how she would eat M&Ms in contest prep. And what she would do is she would, instead of eating, like, let's say she would start out with, like, 10 M&Ms, you know, a bag of M&Ms, maybe a little bag that had 10 M&Ms in it. And then she would cut it down to 8 M&Ms and then 6 M&Ms. But she still ate the M&Ms, all right? But she had an elite metabolism. A lot of people couldn't do that. All right. What I'm saying is, as long as you get the protein to feed the muscle, if there's junk there too, well, then that's just going to go to fats. You know, sugar's going to stimulate the insulin. Insulin's going to fucking store body fat the whole bit. Okay, that's that's what's going to happen. But we all know, guys. I mean, I've been with Mike Monterazzo. I remember meeting two twin cheeseburgers with fucking with uh with the um, what call it, French fries. And drinking a beer with that. And then two weeks later, competing in the Arnold Classic. You know, I saw him do it, bro. I seen Vince Taylor eating fucking jelly donuts and shit. It just, it, what I'm saying to you, as long as you get the good macros in you that you need, if you ate some junk, I wouldn't recommend it for fucking competing. But if you're in the off season, you can get away with it. The question was, can you eat junk food and still build muscle? Yes. As long as you get the right amount of protein to build muscle, whatever the junk is it's in is just going to either turn to fat or if you have a super duper 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 elite fucking metabolism, you, you could burn it off. Okay? There you go. It's, it's not rocket science. It's not recommended though. Most people cannot get away with it. They, could, they would still build muscle, but they would probably get fat. It would just make them fat. They, whatever protein they, they would eat would supply the amino acids and, you know, would rebuild the muscles, okay? Maybe some good, a little bit of good sugars, will, you know, carbs will fill up the muscle with, you know, with the glycogen, but you're going to get fat. You're going to get fat. So, I wouldn't recommend it, so. But, there is, there is people out there with elite metabolisms. Next question. All right, Jordan Seeley wants to know, uh, do they still m make protein pills? Sorry, I can't read my ring. Do they still make protein pills? So, if so, what brand would you recommend? Uh, he said he doesn't like whey protein shakes. He would like to have a good protein supplement other than whey. Wow. Okay, uh, Jordan. I don't know what tastes bad about a protein shake. Today, they make these fucking things. They taste like melted ice cream. And whey is the best protein. You know, whey isolate is better than anything else you're going to get, you know. All well, that carnivore shit and fucking, you know, you know, Joe Ugat's shit, you know what I mean? It's all bullshit. You know, we all know, you know, it's a good protein supplement. Maybe a little babanya. <laughs> you know, the babanya. <laughs> you know? The shit. Other than that, bro, I mean, you know, I I don't think they make protein pills. They might. I, I, not that I know of. I used to take the Hoffman ones. Everybody started off with that shit. You know, they were like chalk pills. You're eating them fucking things. They might make amino acid tablets. Um, I mean, Jordan, I, I, you're best off. You really want some good protein? Eat a fucking steak. Bada boom. There you go. Steak. Listen to me. I'm going to go have steak and when I'm done with this shit. But, uh, listen, you can't, you fucking, come on. Protein pill, what are we fucking in, you know, back in the fucking Fred, Fred Flintstone, the Fred Flintstone area, you know, the fucking Stone Age. You know, they don't, they, 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 protein pills, they don't make that shit anymore, that I know of. And it, maybe there is one out there. But it can't be, the, and if you don't like whey, it would probably contain tame whey. I don't know why you don't like whey. Ways of great fucking protein is what is the best, you know? I mean, it, I know it's convenient, you know? You, you could keep protein pills in your fucking pocket, throw them in your mouth and drink it down, you know what I mean? I, I, 
I mean, I could understand that, but, you know, you, who doesn't want to have a protein shake? You look forward to that. You know, most people use that like a dessert. You know, oh, shit, I'm going to open up my vanilla whey, you know, and I'm going to mix it with, maybe throw some fucking, uh, you know, I'm going to, a little bit of, you know, I don't know, fucking no sugar chocolate chips in there and make it into like some sort of dessert or freeze it or whatever. I don't know, whatever guys do today. But they make it like a dessert. They even eat it like ice cream. Like Dave Palombo used to, has made it for me. I've been over Dave Palombo's house. He's made me, you know, his he used the, his protein shit that he has there. And it's great, bro. It's the fucking, it tastes like ice cream. It's great. My son thinks that, uh, you know, like a... Uh, uh, Dave protein was the, what do you call it, species, it was the isol, isolized, whatever it is. He, you know, my son thinks that's the greatest protein he's ever eaten. He eats it like a dessert. And I'm not trying to pump up Dave's protein. Dave ain't fucking promoting this shit, you know. Nobody, you know, but I'm, you know, got to give credit where credit's due. It's a great protein. The thing is, though, who wouldn't enjoy that? You enjoy a fucking nice, thick, fucking cold, for me, vanilla. I don't like chocolate. Okay. The only thing I like vanilla is my fucking ice cream and my protein shakes, bro. When it comes to my women, I like them fucking flavorful. If they had a Latin flavored protein powder, I'd buy that because Latin is my favorite flavor. You know what I'm talking about. I love Latin women. But, uh, you know, that's what I'm saying, okay? Just, I don't know what to tell you. You know, enjoy your protein. But realistically, I don't. I don't even take pro. I mean, I take it here and there, and boom, moon. Okay, uh, you know, because I'd rather get my protein from food. Most protein, most bodybuilders don't take those shakes. You know, a lot of pro bodybuilders do not take those shakes. You know, because you know they always talk about like you know, uh, oh, it's bad to have like you know the sugar substitutes like equals blended. Well, what do you think fucking sweetens those protein drinks? You know, and before a show, they're all worried about that, you know. I tell a famous story about, uh, you know, fa very famous company, top company near in GNC to everywhere that's top company in our sport. And one of their top athletes, their top athlete, their fucking signature guy was doing a fucking video with me and MD and everything. And my boy Robbie Duran, when he was the boss, and he made a shake and he threw it out. Took out the whole protein and made, used this special shit that he has made up for himself and put it in a blender. And then when we started filming, it made, made it look like it was from that company. But we cut and we dumped the company stuff and we put his stuff in it, his special stuff he made because he doesn't want to drink that because he doesn't like the sweeteners and all that stuff. But pretty much, bro, most of the average, come on, you're not competing and you don't have to worry about having like skin as thin as a fucking tissue, right? You know what I mean? If you, you know, if you're competing in the Olympia, no protein is good. You know what I mean? Not with, not with the sweeteners and everything that are in there. You're better off eating food. But the protein pill thing, I'm sorry, Jordan. I, I don't, I don't know of any. I'm sorry. I used to eat, me, I used to take Hoffman's, but that was, you know, the 70s and and maybe early 80s, you know? All right. Next question. All right. AJ88, he says that the guys in the gym ask him about, you know, talk about shoulder injuries a lot. And he said, do I think that it's a case of uh, uh, not warming up correctly? Or do I think it's a, a case of not doing the right shoulder exercise that, you know, can hurt? What's the... Or both, he's asking me. I'm sorry, just again, it's hard to read the handwriting. You guys should know that by now. I'm a fucking momo. All right? That's what happens. Okay, so let's, basically, you're asking me, you know, why do most guys hurt their shoulders? You know, a lot of shoulder injuries happen in sports and bodybuilding. And is it because of not warming up properly? Is it because you're doing exercises that fuck you up in that area? Or is it a combination of both? That's the question. I find, first of all, that a well-lubricated muscle, a well, lot of blood in the area, usually helps that you don't fucking get injuries, okay? So I would definitely, definitely recommend pumping the muscle and filling it with blood before the actual, work, the actual real heavy stuff or the real work, workout begins. Let me explain to you something, okay? Hold on to that for one second. I also must tell you, if you do an exercise wrong, okay, or too heavy, and you're ice cold, bro, you get in there and the first exercise you do is fucking presses and shit. You sit down and you haven't done a fucking set yet and you start off doing press behind the neck and you're still using heavy weight. Good luck. 
That's a great way to hurt your fucking shoulder. Great, 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 great way. Listen, anybody that knows me and is waiting for my deltoid routine for like the last five years. Sorry, guys. Um, I have said this publicly before, but you, the best thing that you could do is do your routine backwards of what most people would normally do. Like, and most people start off with all like fucking you know, presses and this and that, and then finish up with rear delts. I tell you to do rear delts first, always first, okay? And you do high reps and low, low, low rest periods. For instance, I use, uh, uh, you know, one of the machines like that. Okay, that's what I would use. If you don't have the machine, you got to do the rear dumbbell, you know, you know, side, you know, bent over rear dumbbell laterals or, or, or whatever, side one arms with the cable, whatever you do for rear delts, okay, I recommend that you do high reps, okay, you should fail around 10 or 12 and squeeze out another 3 or 4, all right, then rest 5 seconds and do it again. Keep doing that, okay? You got to do that. I do like 10 sets like that, okay? Really get the area warmed up. Then you do your side delts, okay? Maybe side laterals. You don't do heavy weights. It's not meant to be done heavy, guys. Heavy weights is a classic way to fucking hurt your shoulders. Your shoulder muscles is small muscle, and it holds the, the, the arm onto the fucking, you know, onto the bone. You know, like the onto the thing, on your fucking clavicle. You know what I'm talking about. It's bad. It's a great way to hurt the joint, especially if you do heavy weight and you jolt, jolt them down, like you know, you, you, you know, you fucking sling them down. It's bad. Make the muscle do the work. One intensity, cut your rest periods. Okay, that's a small fucking exercise. Not gonna keep five seconds rest. Count to five and do it again. All right. So I would recommend doing rear delts first, side delts second, and then. First of all, you don't need a lot of front delt, but then you could do your front delt work because front delts are done in everything. You can do the bench press, you can do your front delt, the incline press, you do your front delt. Dude, a lot of times triceps, certain triceps actually hit your front delt. Your front delt gets hit all the time, all, 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 all the way. All right? You may not be able to lift as heavy, you know, with the press behind the neck. What are, what are front presses or any of that shit, okay? You may not be able to do that if you do your side delts first, your, your rear delts first, your side delts. But you will be totally lubricated. There's less of a chance of you getting hurt, and you're going to build some muscle. Because everybody has it in their fucking head that they got to lift heavy. I see guys in my gym taking 80-pound dumbbells and doing side laterals, and then swinging and like this, and I'm like, bro. Bro, I can put 30s in your fucking hand and make you do it my way, and you'll cry. You'll fly, I can't take it anymore. You wouldn't even be able to hold them anymore, all right? You wouldn't even be able to hold. It was up, hold it for a second, down. 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 Up, hold it. You could keep doing that, bro. And then put it down for five seconds. You know, five, four, three, two, one. Boom, again. Uh, bring him up all the way up, you know what I mean? Pinky up a little higher than the deli. Bro, <laughs> you ain't gonna be able to handle that with your fucking swinging your 80 pound dumbbells and then waiting five minutes to do it again. Ain't gonna happen, okay? Say 60 pound dumbbells, ain't gonna happen. Same shit with the fucking press behind the neck. They're all pushing heavy weight, you know what I'm saying? Get it, ah, getting it up there, bro. It's making the muscle do the work. You wanna fucking put intensity? Get some fucking reps, put fire in there. Where you fail at like 10, and you squeeze out another 3 or 4, okay? And then you put the weight down and do 5 seconds rest. Watch my arm routine, okay, on YouTube. Go to my arm routine, my triceps and my biceps, and watch. They do the same fucking thing with the shoulders, bro. You cut it down. Cut those rest periods down, you're going to grow. It doesn't matter the weight that you push. It doesn't matter. All that heavier weight builds bigger muscles is not true. It's putting a fire in there. Okay, you got to get reps. Clean reps. Not no fucking ridiculous reps. Okay? You got to get 10 clean, and then the next three or four, you got to get fucking with either help or fucking barely. Ah, 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 ah. You got to get it like that. You can't go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. You, can't, you can't be doing like six reps and shit like this. It's not good. I'm just telling you. So. My recommendation to avoid injuries, rear delts first, then side delts. Do, like I said, low rest periods and get some weight and get some fire in it. Do volume. Do 10 sets with 5 seconds rest. Okay? 10 to 12 clean reps. And then about another 4 or 5 forced and fucking negative, you know, that kind of shit. So you can't do anything anymore. 
to momentary failure. There you go. You're going to grow. Do what I told you, and you're going to grow. Look what's done for the legs with leg routine on, on the internet. Look what it's done for the guys who do biceps tries. So go read the comments. Go to my go to my fucking channel, Greg Valentino. Go look at those videos and read the comments. Same shit with the fucking shoulders. Okay? Capish. Warm up the area. Stop lifting heavy weights and don't start off doing presses. That's asinine. That's fucking asinine. Rear delts first always. Alright, guys. So there you go. There you have it. Alright? Listen. Send in your questions. You don't have to send them in. But you can send them to Joe if you want. Or you could put them down here in in a in a in a comment section. Ask me whatever you want to know. You know, ask some good shit. Don't ask stupid shit. Alright? These were good questions, I thought, you know. I like these questions. These were this, I thought this week was a pretty good week. You know, and you know what we learned, okay? We learned Haroon asked me about the GABA, helps you sleep, yes, the niacin definitely help you train and bring more blood flow, but I can't handle niacin. GABA, a little bit, with a little piece to a big picture with the growth hormone, it helps, you know, definitely helps you sleep. Uh, Jordan, uh, let's see, Jordan was asking me about the protein pills, I don't think they make them anymore, you're better off eating food, and who doesn't like a fucking shake, if you do eat a protein shake, you make it into like a dessert, it's much more appetizing than popping a fucking chalk pill. I don't know if they even make them anymore. Uh, AJ88 asked me about the shoulder injuries. Okay, AJ, again, we, we, we realized that if you do your rear delts first and then your side delts and then your front delts and really the area is real warmed up and a lot of blood in that area and you're not using fucking super heavy weights, you do it the way I tell you, five seconds rest, ten, ten, ten reps to, 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 till you start to fail, and then another three, four reps on top of that, with five seconds rest between sets, you're going to fucking grow, okay? And then, what was the last, what was the first question? Well, uh, can you eat junk food? That was a great question, bro. Okay, I was just talking to me about that yesterday. Yes, you can eat junk as long as you get the good food in you to build the muscle. If you get the good food, the good macros, the right macros in you, you know what I mean? And if you eat junk after that, there's a lot of bodybuilders do, believe it or not. You know what I mean? Even when you hear Jay Cutler eating candy corn. You know, he eats the candy corn. That's junk, bro. That's pure junk. But it's not like he eats that, only that. That's not like his dinner, all right? He makes sure he has the chicken. He has, the, you know, grilled chicken steak, whatever else. If you throw those fucking candy corns on top of that, it's going to maybe secrete a little insulin. It's going to maybe give you a little sugar in the blood, you know, maybe some of that goes into the muscle, but he burns it off, all right? Or it turns to fat. You can't eat just junk, though. All right? We realize that. If there's no macros there and there's no protein there, okay, nothing to build muscle with, then... Your body can say, what are, we, what are you doing? It's like telling a builder, I'm not going to give you bricks and wood to build a house. I'm going to give you styrofoam and foam rubber. He's going to say, what the fuck am I going to do with that? You can't build a house out of styrofoam and foam rubber. I need the bricks and the wood. You give him the bricks and the wood. And the styrofoam and rubber, what did he just sifts through? And he takes the bricks and the wood out of the styrofoam and rubber. And the styrofoam and rubber become rubbish, garbage. And it piles up, becomes fat. There you go. All right. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right, guys. Listen. Uh, and what else did we learn? We learned that this girl's kind of cute. She's a cutie. Alright? I like her face, man. She's a cute girl. Remember, you got my issue, and you got this issue. Okay? Uh, you got Jerry Ward in here. Boston Lloyd in here. Lee Priest in here. Greg Valentino in here. <laughs> what more could you want? You got Joe Pietaro. You got Big C Green for 5% nutrition. You got my boy Dave Goyce, America, America Muscle. And you got the anabolic doc. Dude. Really? Really? You got all that? Wait, where? You got all that? Plus, the same shit's in my issue. This is the collector's issue. Look. Look. Look at this. This one with her and this one with me. Look. Now they're fucking. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys next week. Come on. You get it? You get it? Me. Her. Giving a little spam.
ham, ham in the can. It's a joke, guys. All right, guys. See you next week. Joe Pietaro. All right, we'll talk. <laughs> Get fucking around. Right. All right, we'll talk, guys. Thanks for being here. Be good to your girl. Be good to your kids. Be good to your significant other. Pay your fucking child support. Don't be a fucking dead. Be dead again. I don't give a shit if the wife is fucking using that money for her new boyfriend. She's going to be the bad guy when your kids get older. And they know my, my father paid every fucking week. And you fucking gave our money to that fucking, fucking, you know, to that fucking budget galoop. You dated, you married or whatever. That was my father's money for us. You fucked up. So you're going to be the good guy. Maybe not now you're the bad guy, but soon you'll be the good guy. But the most important thing, guys, be excellent to yourselves, okay? Come on, stop beating yourself up. All right? Stop beating yourself up. I need you guys here. So put down your comment, whatever you want to know about. See you next week. And you know what I'm going to tell you. It's all fucking around. You fucking momo.